and I am going to share art activities on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on Mondays and Wednesdays, I'll share some suggestions, ideas, tips for things that people can do with their children at home. Since I've spent my entire professional life working with young children, their teachers and their parents, I've recently been asked several times that how do we keep them engaged? We've got a lot of schoolwork happening, but after all, they're children, they're captured, they can't go out. What do you do if you have an only child? What do you do if you have double trouble and you've got twins? What do you do when you've got children of different ages? So basically, some help with children. Since my area has always been early years, a lot of what I'm suggesting is obviously geared for that. And I'm presuming that the older children, there is still a lot that one could do where, you know, where they will find ways of engaging themselves. And of course, anyway, I'm sure some of the ideas I'm sharing can be applied there as well. So let's start. I think I have enough people. So again, for today, all you need is a sheet of paper and something to write with. So if you've got something next to you, great. It's fine if you need a couple of minutes to go and get something. I've got crayons, but if you've got a pencil or a pen, that's great. I know there are some children watching as well. So if you've got your paints, that's wonderful. And of course, if you've got your sketch pens, these are my sister's beautiful sketch pens. If you've got sketch pens, that's great. Whatever you have. Okay, the point is for us to all have some fun. All right. For the adults who are watching, one of the things, Harshita, you're too sweet. One of the things that uh, I'm looking at when I'm doing these sessions is, of course, engagement. But it's also about all of us spending a little bit of time doing something which is um, mindful, something that is relaxing, something that is also going to keep us happier, peaceful. And it's something that children can do, adults can do, grandparents can do, all of us can do. Hi, Yamini. So um, let's start. I'm going to turn, ooh, okay, so I'm going to have a problem turning the screen. I will raise it. I think it's easier if I do that. What you need is to take your writing instrument. So if you've got your pen or you've got your pencil, that's fine. If you want to go straight with a crayon, that's fine, or your sketch pen. I just suggest you take a darker color. That's all. All right. Today, what we're going to do is a figure of eight, which means that you're going to start, yeah, become a pro at working upside down. So you're going to start anywhere, somewhere in the middle of your page, and then start making a figure of eight. Can you see what I'm doing? Just do that. Have a lot of fun with it. Don't do too much. Don't do too much because I hope you can see it on the phone on uh, my own page. Don't do too much because you just want a few spaces, right? I'm doing it again with a crayon. So we're just doing the infinity sign. That's what we're doing. All right, have some fun with it. Go till the ends of your pages. You want to close your eyes and do it. You can do it that way. Whichever way you are comfortable, just do it that way. All right. And like I said, don't over uh, crowd your page because, of course, we are going to color a bit after this. That's part of the relaxation and the mindfulness. Keep your hand loose. Keep your hand trying. Hi, Indrani. Try and sort of go across the page. For the younger children, if you want to, you can just make circles all right 
so for the younger children you can keep going round 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 like that okay all right and try not to lift your pencil all right you're going to try and keep doing this across your entire sheet of paper without lifting your pencil okay hi sunenika i hope vedika is with you hi shabnam hi namrata hi sonia how nice to see you okay so we're just going to keep making figure of 8 i'm flipping my paper over and starting again so that it's clean for the people who joined on just now we're just taking a crayon or we are taking a sketch pen pencil pen and starting somewhere in the middle of the sheet and making a figure of 8 and make it as loose as you can spread it to the sides of your page if you've got a younger child who's watching with you and they prefer they can just make circles even you can there are no rules to this hi kangano hi Ki uh, sorry kangana i saw kiyansh and i went kangano hi kiyansh how super to see you okay so that's what we're doing hi venus don't um over cover the page because we also want to color after this so again i'm just repeating since again i know some people joined on we're just taking a crayon a pencil a pen or a sketch pen we're starting from the middle of our page and we're doing circles or figure of it hi nira how super to see you hi kola okay so that's what we're doing and mine is beginning to get messy because i'm doing it over and over try and keep yours a little clean and clear because you want to color after this all right enjoy it take your time for the adults who have locked on this is as much about relaxing hi julia about relaxing and enjoying yourself as it is about just letting your hands move so again i'm just showing it since again a couple of people have just joined on we are taking whatever we want to write with a crayon a pen a pencil starting from the middle of our page and making figures of eight across the page and if there's you prefer or there's a younger child who prefers they can just make circles that's what the barbed wire at the bottom is <laughs> all right and as i'm saying don't overfill the page keep it loose keep it a little clean because you also want to color it so i'm doing a quick one again so that i can then show you that it should look fairly clean it shouldn't look as messy as mine is so fairly clean and of course the trick is to not pick up your writing instrument keep it loose keep it flowing enjoy it and if it's troubling you that the sides have got such large gaps that's okay you can maybe do the circles i was talking about here that's what i did and now comes the fun part which is to color it hi carol how super to see so many people this afternoon so i'm again repeating i know some of you have heard it for the third or fourth time we've just taken a writing instrument started from the middle of our page and very loosely made figures of eight and in case anyone wanted to they've then done these this is circle type things around the sides so that they can fill it up hi shilpi okay but remember we don't want to crowd it we want to keep it a little open we want to keep it a little free flowing we want to just relax ourselves and our bodies as we enjoy this exercise 
and now it's time for some coloring so now enjoy the spaces that you've made and color them if you don't have colors fine no issues all you need to do is to take then i'm presuming you have one color or you have a pen or a pencil so just as we did last time you can create designs within each of the spaces so i'm going to do it with a crayon so that you can still see what i'm doing and i'll just show you what i'm doing all right so here you can just choose to make a few designs in the spaces and fill it up in that way so that it looks nice interesting and mindful and yet relax and of course if you have colors enjoy coloring it again for the adults what we're doing is allowing ourselves to relax allowing ourselves to enjoy our just these 10 15 20 minutes and focusing on something that our brain doesn't really have to think about doesn't have to get tired with it just allows us to let our brains rest in the background as we do this and a lot of what you might be thinking about otherwise will kind of get sorted as you're doing this which is why we enjoy doing doodling and we enjoy scribbling so many of us when we are thank you sreshta didi hi geeta so many of us when we listen to people we keep writing i don't know if that happens to you i know that i used to end up scribbling all the time on the sides of my notebooks i would have doodled and that's what when you think about it it allows you to focus and that's exactly what we're doing we're allowing ourselves to relax we're allowing our brains to work in the background and we are just being mindlessly mindful if i could say that all right so again since i know a couple of people joined just now um i'm uh, all we've done is to sorry i'm reading comments that's why i lost it a little um we're just taking the writing instrument starting from the middle of the page and making figures of eight if you're sitting with a younger child which i know some of you are then they might want to just make circles like that all over the page relaxed not too many also when they want to stop they stop and then of course they color all these wonderful spaces they start coloring all right i spoke about picasso last time so we're doing the same kind of thing right we are hi anu we are kind of being picasso we are creating our own modern art and we are thoroughly enjoying ourselves so while i'm talking i'm going to color a bit too and i think somehow i always pick up orange when i start coloring because i guess that's one of the brightest colors in the box so i tend to pick it up it's the one that i reach out for so i'm coloring really badly since i'm also talking to you but of course the more mindfully you color the more carefully you color the more you'll ensure that you're filling the entire space with the color that will be great for those of you who are wondering why i seem to be looking in two directions i've got two devices going because i'm streaming simultaneously from my personal page and from my art page which is ask art by sonia kula so yeah i'm having a lot of fun doing this going from side to side and as my sister said i have a studio set up because i'm also watching myself through her facebook so thanks anu i'm so glad you're enjoying this so i'm trying to keep it as simple and engaging as possible 
because I'm not really sure of what materials you have at home. So, and also since I've opened it up to everybody, including adults, I'm not sure if you would have colors. I do know Kiyansh has a lot of colors and I think Vedika has a lot of colors and I'm not sure if Amira is here today, but I know she's got a lot of colors. Harshit probably has a lot of colors, but yeah, not all of us do. So I'm showing you what you can do with or without the colors. Hi, Makarand. Good to see you here too. So again, I've just figured that I need to keep coloring it to show you how it will grow as you color it and fill it up. And as you do that, you'll also realize that you are looking at the combinations that you are making. You are choosing that, OK, if I put orange, what do I want to put next to it? If I put green, now what do I want to put next to it? And if you're not so happy with the color choice you made, if you've got crayons, you could try mixing another color on top. That also works sometimes. So I'm going to try and I'm going to mute my green a little bit by adding some white to it. It's always great fun to play if you've got the colors. And again, if you don't have the colors, no issues. You can keep doing designs with your whatever you are writing with, with your pen or with your crayon or your pencil. It's also fine. Like I have, thank you, Makaran. Like I have a whole lot, I'm sure you do too, a lot of tiny, tiny spaces towards the middle of my drawing, which um, I'm not sure I want each of them to be a different color. So it's yours, right? There are no rules. You can do whatever you like to it. And you can, if you like, merge some of those together. So I've cheerfully colored it black unwittingly since I had a black in my hand. OK. And of course, as I was saying before, while we can merge colors, if we're doodling and we don't really like what we've made, you can always add to it. You can just. So I'd made lines before I've made it into a checker box right now. And again, you can have fun within that too, because you can color bits of the checker box and not the entire thing. So you can make it look even more interesting. So yes, I know you can only see my eyes turned down and my nose pin twinkling as somebody told me. But if you see, it's becoming more and more interesting as I'm adding a bit of detail to it. And that's how it becomes more interesting, more um, engaging, and more mindful as you keep working with it, playing with it, adding to it, embellishing it. Remember, anything that we do for ourselves particularly and especially with art, there's nothing ever wrong with it. If there's one thing I've learned in this last year that I have begun exploring art in many, many forms, I've I've been using crayons, pastels, just a pen, pencils, charcoal, resin. I've just, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been, I've done some mosaics. So this is not to tell you that, hey, I've done so much. No, it's to tell you that if there's one thing I learned from exploring all these, it was to just relax, be myself, feel free. There's no one to tell you whether it's right or wrong. Ultimately, if you're happy with it, that's all that really matters. And then it's up to you, right, whether you take it out there and show it to the world or you don't. So for ages, I sat with it. I literally hid it. I wouldn't even give it as a, as a birthday card I wouldn't make, I would buy. Till my husband pointed out, he said, if you've got this 
this capacity to to paint and to draw hi mom um share it why are you holding on to it share it and that's when the dam broke and i started sharing it and i started offering it to everybody so here i am happily going live every day sharing some artwork with you so again as you realize some people watched have joined us just now all we've done is taken something to write with i've got a crayon hi archana hi nina so i've got a crayon we started from the middle and we just made figures of eight across our page not too many just enough to give ourselves a nice interesting design within which we could color some wanted to i felt would probably enjoy just making circles especially if there are younger children or you want to fill the sides of it so that's what that squiggle on the side the barbed wire is and then we started coloring and what i'm chattering on about is if you don't have colors or don't want to use colors obviously both apply and you want to just work with a single color that's also absolutely fine so that's what i was showing that you can make different designs and styles hi sabita within each of the spaces that you created and yes it is absolutely like doodling and that's why it's so relaxing and it's so um mindlessly mindful as i said earlier because it just allows you to be free and to do what you want so that's what we're doing so sabita i think i you just joined i'm not sure if someone else has joined one of the reasons my head keeps going back and forth like a marionette is because i'm streaming live on both my own page and on my own art page so i'm streaming through my personal page and i'm streaming through my art page which is called ask dot art by sonia kula hi maureen how superb to see you here so this is a new friend whom i've made through the internet and we both discovered how much synergy there is between us she uh, is a great calligraphist and she's written children's books so i'm really delighted to see you here and yeah so we are kind of doodling as someone pointed out we've just taken a writing instrument i've got a crayon in my hand started from the middle and made figures of eight across our page and we are coloring in now the spaces that we created so i think it's pause for a second and uh keep coloring a bit so that we can then progress beyond that i want to show you a couple more designs that you could possibly make i think next time i will ensure that i have something where i can work maybe this way if i'm using two screens if i shift the um screens i'm scared that one of them will fall it's been propped up rather high so i'm going to just do a slightly different scribble so i'm assuming this is for people who may not want to use too many colors or don't have too many colors with them so you can also just continue with the circles right yeah i know i keep talking about circles but i'm actually trying to make here i'm trying to make a spiral can you see that and so you can make spirals within spirals and it looks beautiful when it's done here on friday i'll do a little more about doodling since i've decided to go live every day so i'm going to be doing different things on different days and as i have been saying on tuesdays and thursdays i will be doing activities like this which require very little in terms of art resources from you and of course open to all age groups on mondays and wednesdays i'll share 
some tips, some suggestions from my Pitara. I hope they will help you with handling your children at this time when you can't take them out. And on Fridays, I'll share something much more to do with my own art and with some of the things that I'm doing. So I was thinking this Friday, I would do maybe some doodling to start with. Hi, Bikram uncle. Great to see you. So that's what we're doing. All right. And again, since a few people just joined, we just took a sheet of paper and a writing instrument and started from the middle and drew figures of eight across our page, allowing ourselves to just flow with it and be free with it, not making it too crowded. And then we started coloring it. So my new term, we're being mindlessly mindful and relaxing and enjoying the afternoon together. We've actually finished half an hour. I wonder if all of you realized that. So we'll just continue for another five, 10 minutes. And it would be superb if you could share some of your artworks in the comments. I would love to see what you're creating. So that would be really super. So again, I'm going to just do a little bit more and, you know, just show you how fabulous it can look if you've chosen to not use colors. Uh oh, oh no. Sorry, but my broadcast suddenly stopped. And this is like crazy. So I don't know what to do. It stopped on my personal one. I think it's telling me that I need to end. So here I'm just showing you that this is what I was doing. This showing that we can keep having a lot of fun just doing this. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been engaging for you. I hope it's been fun for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again every day if possible. That would be fabulous. Otherwise, on whichever days it suits you, I'll be logging in every day at 3 o'clock. And yeah, I'm going to try to log in from both my personal account and my art account so that I can interact with as many people as possible. Thank you so much for being here. And please, please share some of your artworks, your children's artworks in the comments. I would seriously love to see them. Thank you so much. So see you and... Bye-bye.